This Arduino compatible board shares the same physical dimensions and pin layout as the Arduino Uno board and utilizes the familiar 8 Mega 328P microcontroller. In contrast to the official Arduino Uno SMD board, this version incorporates a different crystal oscillator. Today, we'll use an oscilloscope to capture the power up and startup waveforms of the microcontroller and the 16 MHz crystal oscillator. Using the multimeter to identify the pins of the microcontroller that are connected to the crystal. These pins should be located in close proximity to the crystal. Power up the board. The yellow waveform represents the voltage signal from one of the microcontroller's VCC pins, while the light blue waveform represents the signal from one of the crystal oscillator pins. As the board powers up, we can observe changes in voltage and examine the waveforms. When power is initially applied to a circuit board, Components such as voltage regulators, microcontrollers, require time to reach their operational states. During this period, the supply voltage may experience transient fluctuations as it stabilizes. After the power supply has stabilized and the control circuits have initialized, the crystal oscillator can begin its startup process. Observing the waveform on the oscilloscope, we notice that initially, the amplitude of the crystal oscillator waveform is relatively small. As the startup progresses, the amplitude gradually increases, indicating that the oscillator is generating stronger oscillations. Once the oscillator has completed its startup process and stabilized, the amplitude of the waveform reaches a steady level. This stabilized amplitude confirms that the oscillator is operating reliably and producing consistent oscillations at its designed frequency. We now activate the oscilloscope's cursor function to measure the startup time. In this case, it takes approximately 2.5 milliseconds from the board's power on to the crystal oscillator reaching a stable level. The startup process of the crystal oscillator itself takes about 1.5 milliseconds to reach the stable level. Connect the oscilloscope probes to two pins of the crystal oscillator and capture the startup waveform again. The yellow waveform represents the signal at the microcontroller's crystal input pin, while the light blue waveform represents the signal at the microcontroller's crystal output pin. The waveform observed at the input pin reflects the oscillations generated by the crystal oscillator. Similarly, the waveform observed at the output pin also reflects these oscillations, however, due to the configuration of the oscillator circuit, it exhibits a different phase and voltage level compared to the input pin.
If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for watching.